Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the GORUCK 18 liter double compartment bullet ruck which is now available in Dyneema. And the double compartment bullet was one of the biggest surprises to me when it was first announced. It seemed like a really cool form factor, a more compact GR2 style bag. I tested out the 16 liter in ripstop nylon on the channel a while back. Absolutely loved using that bag, but the 18 liter size seemed a little closer to what I would typically like to use. It was also really cool to see the Dyneema edition come out as I've had such a great experience testing out the GR1 in that fabric. I come back to that bag a lot and so I was excited to see how it would do with this form factor. I've had a chance to use it over the past couple of weeks and in this video I'm going to be talking about what it's been like to test it. I'll show you how I've loaded it out, walked through all the features, and I'll also talk about how it compares to some of the other similar bags that are currently on the market. Before jumping into the video, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Danny and on this channel we love reviewing popular travel and everyday carry gear. If you like these types of videos and you'd be interested in seeing more, please consider subscribing as it helps the channel out a lot. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the overall aesthetic, the bag has GORUCK's typical minimalist design which I'm a big fan of. I talk about it a lot in the GORUCK videos that I do as I just feel that it's really versatile. This version is also one of the slick editions, so there's no molly webbing along the front or the sides, so a very slick, clean appearance. And you know, as far as the bullet ruck silhouette, it's going to be a little bit less wide than the GR1s and the GR2s. And then the Dyneema fabric is also gonna give it a really interesting sort of texture. But beyond that, very similar to the double compartment bullet ruck that I featured a little while back. And this is definitely something that is gonna work well for traveling, for going into the outdoors, exploring a city. It's even something that I could see myself taking into the office. As far as the materials, the bag feels really solidly built. The exterior fabric on this version is Dyneema. So it feels very durable. It's pretty lightweight. It offers a nice amount of weather resistance. And I've now had a chance to use Dyneema for a little bit longer with the GR1 and that's held up very well. So in general, I've been a big fan of the fabric. And then it's got kind of an interesting sort of texture which gives it a distinct appearance that still feels really sleek. And I haven't noticed any issues with the noise. I know some people were asking about, you know, the crinkle factor and how noisy it is when you're walking around. And when you press down on it directly, you can hear it a little bit. But when I've been walking around, I haven't noticed anything at all. And then you also have the very smooth working and reliable YKK zippers all throughout. One thing that I like about this edition is that you don't have any sort of rain flaps on the zippers. There's no aqua guards either, so they're a little bit more exposed than some of the other GORUCK bags, but you do have the reverse coil YKKs and then they just work super smoothly right out of the box. Continuing along the outside of the bag, things are kept pretty minimal without having the webbing on the sides or the front or water bottle pockets or anything like that. You do have a nice carrying handle at the top, GORUCK's typical well-reinforced style here. And then you have the Velcro patch area here at the front. I currently have my Deadpool patch, but you can customize this, you know, however you want to give it a little bit more personality. And then one of the distinguishing factors that I've seen with some of the newer bullet rocks that have been coming out is that you do have the white arrowhead on the bottom corner. So it does stand out a little bit more than I would typically like to see with GORUCK's bags, which are so good with just not really having a ton of branding. So this against the black colorway stands out a little bit, but it's fairly small and out of the way. So I don't really think it's a big deal overall. And then as far as how the bag stands up on its own, it does an okay job. It's been a little bit inconsistent, particularly when I take the laptop out because of the kind of slanted shape of the bag on the bottom, it tends to lean a little bit when the weight is more directed towards the front of the bag. So right here, I have it standing up comfortably, but I have my laptop on the inside, so it's keeping it well balanced. But when I've taken it out, I've noticed that it does sometimes tend to tip over. And then moving into the capacity, the double compartment bullet ruck comes in a 16 and 18 liter size. The version that I have here is the 18 liter. And I was really excited about trying this size out. I love the form factor of the 16 liter version, but it was just a little bit too small for my size and the items that I normally like to carry. They all fit in there, but the bag just felt a little tighter on me than I was comfortable with. And so this definitely seemed like kind of the sweet spot. It reminded me a little bit of the 21 liter GR1. 
you know, the space is distributed differently across the two with this one having the extra organization. But in general, it felt like a great daily carry size. I was able to fit the items that I typically like to carry with me. It felt like there was still some leftover space without the bag feeling overwhelmingly large or bulky. Even when it's packed out, it still managed to maintain a pretty slim profile, making it great for navigating crowded areas jumping on a public transit and carrying onto pretty much any domestic or international airline and using it as a personal item. Continuing with the harness system, so far the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. You have GORUCK's typical rugged padding here that with these newer fabrics feels more broken in and easier to wear right out of the box, which I'm a big fan of. And on the inside you have the softer 210D nylon that GORUCK has been using on the straps and the back panel as of late. And so I personally like that a little bit more than the more abrasive 1000D. And then the width of the straps is something that I always go back and forth on with the bullet rugs because these are a little bit narrower than the straps from the GR1s and the GR2, which I've been spoiled by. And given that this is an 18 liter bag now and you know it's double compartment, it can start to hold quite a bit of stuff and you start to feel that weight a little bit more than I typically do with GORUCK's other bags that have those wider straps. So that's something to keep in mind depending on your preferences. It's still comfortable, but if you're used to those other straps, you might start to notice it a little bit more. Regardless, they feel very durable, well reinforced, and then you have the webbing that will allow you to attach a sternum strap. It's not included, but might be nice to have just given how narrow the straps are. And then with these newer fabrics, sometimes the straps can tend to slide towards the edges of your shoulders. So the sternum strap might be a good addition. And then as far as the back paneling, this has also felt pretty similar to other GORUCK bags. So good amount of padding, well distributed throughout the back. I always think it's interesting that the bullet rugs in particular have this reinforced section at the bottom, which I personally like. Once I adjust the bag to the height that I need it to be at, this provides a nice bit of extra support. And then, you know, this softer material feels great. Still not gonna be the most breathable back panel. So, you know, you have a little bit of elevation here, some air channels, but in general, my back tends to get pretty sweaty while I'm wearing these bags for a longer period of time. Jumping into the organizational options, this is definitely one of my favorite pocket layouts in general. I've gotten really accustomed to using bags like this because I've had the GR2 for so many years and so when this version of the bullet ruck was announced i was thrilled because it took that and made it just even more edc friendly without losing any of the versatility so you still have the slanted zippered pocket on the front which i know people aren't a huge fan of but i've always found that to be quite useful particularly in these newer fabrics it is able to fit a little bit more than the 1000d rucksacks that I'd used in the past. So it's still, you know, very simple. There's no organization. So it's good for taller, flatter items. This is typically where I will have my tablet and maybe a notebook or some of my charging cables. This is where I'll toss some things while going through TSA. And so, you know, it gets the job done for me, but I can see why it might be a little simplistic or tight for some people. There's no internal organization, at least standard. I believe that you might be able to add like a key loop or something from SCARS but you know, I'm still glad to have it. And then at the top you have quick access pocket. This one's a little bit smaller than the one that's on the GR1s and GR2s of course, but still very useful for the items that I'm grabbing very regularly while I'm on the go. So a perfect spot for my phone charger as well as a pair of AirPods. And then on the back of the bag, you have the dedicated laptop compartment with the typical zipper that GORUX bags have. And so, really well padded, suspended off the bottom of the ground. With this 18 liter version, I was able to easily fit my 14 inch MacBook Pro. You can see here, there's some leftover space. So a 15 inch laptop should be able to fit comfortably. A 16 incher could probably squeeze in, but I'm sure you start to get pretty tight against the edge of the zipper. So something to keep in mind, but always a big fan of the false bottom that the GORUCK laptop compartments have. And then pretty easy to get the device in and out. And on the inside here, you also have access to the Velcro that will allow you to remove the frame sheet if you want to, but I typically leave that in. And then on the front of the bag, you have the first of the clamshell style compartments. This is where the dual compartment bullet rug name comes into play and what makes this bag so versatile. This and the GR2. I talk about this a lot in my videos for these bags because it's one of my favorite things. You have this whole section here separate from the main compartment that just allows you to add in a lot of items that would be difficult to access or even you know fit in other bags so very very useful layout 
here on this area, just kind of laying flat. I have the Evergood Civic Access pouch, one liter, and then you have a zippered mesh pocket here with the vertical zipper. So if you're accessing the bag from this side, you can just reach in and grab it. At the moment, I have my Alpaca Admin pouch there. And then if you don't want to use it, it just kind of stays out of the way. And then above that, you have the built-in field pocket, which is a little bit smaller on the Bullet Rocks than the one on the GR2. Perfect spot here for my sunglasses with their case. I really love the amount of volume that this has, particularly with this softer fabric. It just kind of molds around anything that you want to place in there. And then you have some internal organization here, a couple of mesh slip pockets on the back. So in this one, perfect spot for my mouse. And then in the other one, I have a retractable USB-C cable. And then on the other side, you have a couple of additional pockets. First up, this mesh zippered pocket that's a little bit larger and it has a good amount of volume. I didn't end up placing anything in here because I had my tablet on the front and I wanted to leave this space a little bit less tight. That's one of the things with the way that this bag is set up is it you know, takes some time to figure out what setup makes the most sense for the items that you're carrying, but great to have this in case you wanna use it. And then above that, you have the Bullet Ruck label, 18 liter Bullet Ruck. Lifetime guarantee, it doesn't have any made in the USA labeling here. And then above that, you have an additional zippered pocket. This is a great kind of secondary quick access area. Good bit of volume at the moment. The only things that I have in here are retractable HDMI cable. And then I also have my headlamp. And then moving into the main clamshell compartment, note how smooth these zippers work. Absolutely love that. And then just a great simple layout here. It works very well with my modular packing style. And so jumping into the items that I have here, water bottle, because I don't have any way to place it on the outside of the bag. And I have my Beat Studio wireless headphones. I have the Lockbee pouch that I've been using a lot lately. I have a packable rain jacket. And then I also have the Evergood Civic Access Pouch 2 liters. And I was able to fit all those items in there. It didn't feel like the bag was exploding. And so even though this is an 18 liter bag, it just holds an impressive amount. And on the inside, you have the typical GORUCK layout with the slip pocket on the back. So a good spot for maybe a tablet or anything flatter that you wanna store, as well as a couple of rows of webbing here that you can pair with some field pockets or clip on accessories with a carabiner and then with the amount of space that's offered here, this could also work as a minimal travel bag. I was able to place my pack and cube, dop kit, an extra pair of shoes. I would easily be able to use this for a longer weekend trip. And then last thing to call out here on the lid of the main compartment is that you have the single zippered mesh pocket. So this is a little different from the GR2s in that you have the one pocket that extends all the way. Really nice elastic material here on the double compartment bullet ruck. Great spot for maybe a jacket, some clothing that you wanna separate out from the main area. So, you know, I think that that works well. If you don't wanna use it, you can just, you know, kind of leave it there. So I just continue to be a really big fan of this layout, whether it's the GR2 or the bullet rucks, it just feels like a great evolution of the more minimal layouts of the GR1 and the original bullet rucks, they just, add a ton of versatility. You can really organize your stuff in a ton of useful ways for any use case. And then adding in the 18 liter size is just fantastic. Really, really just kind of the ideal fit for me. And then with the Dyneema fabric, it just kind of modernizes it, gives you that extra bit of durability, weather resistance. And if you're looking for you know a very slick, durable, everyday carry bag, this is definitely gonna be one of the best options that you can take a look at. And so to wrap up, it's been a great experience testing out the 18 liter double compartment bullet ruck over the past couple of weeks. You can purchase this on the company's site. The ripstop version of the bag is gonna come in at around $255, I believe. Dyneema typically carries a premium with it. I don't have the finalized pricing at the time of filming, but my guess is it's gonna come in at around the $300 price point or a little bit above. I don't believe that these editions of the bag are made in the USA, so that's something that could help with the pricing and just something to kind of keep an eye on as you're looking through the product page. GORUCK usually does a good job of calling out which ones are made in the USA versus not. Regardless, the quality on it has been fantastic, so no issues there. And you know, GORUCK's bags in general come in at a little bit of a higher price point, but you get these SCARS lifetime warranty, very well built bags, I have a ton of them. You know, you get a lot of value for that price, but there's gonna be some other great bags in this price range that may be worth considering. And so as I was testing this out, this definitely reminded me of some of the other great bags from GORUCK's lineup, in particular the GR1 in Dyneema, which 
has been one of the bags that I've used the most over the past year. Absolutely love the form factor of the GR1. I talk about it all the time. The simpler layout, the laptop compartment, it just looks great, very slim. I really enjoyed the version with this fabric as it just added to the durability, the weather resistance. And so, you know, it's a great alternative if you're looking for something in this size range that's gonna have a simpler layout. And then the GR2 is another great alternative, the 26 liter in particular, because it's still usable as an EDC backpack. It's of course gonna be a little bit larger and bulkier than this, but I've used it as an EDC bag. I've used it as a personal item on a flight. Very similar layout to this, but it's gonna have the beefier straps, more space. And so if you like having this level of organization, but just need more capacity, then the GR2 is gonna be an excellent option to take a look at. The next bag this made me think of is the Day Pack from Dispatch, which is a really solid, functional bag. It kind of mixes the aesthetic of a North Face and an Air, so it has the external water bottle pockets. It's still got a pretty modern, sleek look, but you know, good pocketing, dedicated laptop area, comfortable harness system. It's more of a top-loading bag, so it doesn't open clamshell like this one here. So it's just a different organizational style depending on your preferences, but just a great Durable bag, love the way it looks, and if you're looking for something with this type of a vibe, but that's just gonna have a different layout, and that's gonna be a great option to keep in mind. And then the last option that I'll mention here, if you have a little bit of a tighter budget, is the Fjall Raven Raven 20 and Raven 28. Those have been some of my favorite all-purpose bags of the past couple of years. I actually have the 28 hanging on the wall behind me. I really love the more heritage vibe and aesthetic that that has. Very solid build quality. They improved the harness system, so it's more comfortable now. And the layout on that is just very, very usable. It reminds me a lot of the one here. So you have, it's particularly on the 28 liter, you have kind of the dual organizational compartments, main area, and then an additional one in front of that. Quick access pockets, dedicated laptop compartment that's well padded. You have dual external water bottle pockets. And so it just checks off a lot of the boxes for what I'm typically looking for out of a really versatile pack and it's also gonna come in at under $200. So if that's the budget that you're working with and you want something that's got a little bit more of that old school outdoorsy aesthetic, then it's gonna be a great option to take a look at. With that being said, the 18 liter double compartment bullet ruck holds up really well against all those options. And with this combination of Dyneema and the 18 liter size, this has quickly become one of my favorite new EDC releases of the past year. And if you're looking for something durable, functional, that's gonna have a versatile size and a really cool fabric. And this is gonna be an excellent option to take a look at. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you all think of the Bullet Ruck and some of the other new Dyneema releases that GORUCK has coming out and how they hold up to some of the other popular tech and EDC bags that are currently on the market. If there's any similar options that you think that I should check out, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank GORUCK for sending the bag for me to test out and to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos, and we'll see you in the next one.